Rochdale, a few miles from Manchester. For Michael, each day follows the same ritual. There are a number of companies in our area who specialise in um, sorting um, and reclaiming clothing. We asked one of these companies to segregate all of their, their denim waste so that we can manufacture them into other products, kind of giving them a second life. To move on to this second life, the jeans have to undergo a process. The trousers are laid on a conveyor belt and shredded bit by bit. Metal parts, buttons and zips are all removed by machine. At this point of the process here, it's already had an initial pull. And as you can see, there are still several large unpulled pieces of denim which need to be reduced in size further before we can actually manufacture with it. Once the fibres have been separated, they are compressed to form a kind of mattress. These will then receive fire protection treatment before being used as efficient insulation for homes. It doesn't itch. You can do it by yourself. It's very straightforward. As you can see, putting in a piece there which isn't quite to length, so then we get a smaller piece, easy to tear across the width, and then that fills in there. These denim-based materials, which are very easy to install, are more environmentally friendly than most other insulation products. Admittedly, they are still more expensive at the moment. But textile recycling offers great local economic potential, and it's not just jeans. This is wool rich. We use this in other areas like horticulture and in flooring. We take collected uh, waste streams and then we remanufacture it into other products using a very small amount of energy relative to making virgin products from virgin materials. I think as time goes by that we switch on to using more and more recycled products. Individuals, businesses, governments. We all constantly produce waste. Every year, up to three billion tons of waste is produced in the EU. That's an average of more than five tons per person, including half a ton of household waste. For environmental and for economic reasons, we need to reduce our waste production. We also need to sort, process and recycle waste better. There is no doubt that recycling is a huge opportunity uh, for uh, jobs uh, creation and also for our economic growth. I think it's important that we understand that waste is actually not a burden, but it's a new resource which we have to use. For example, the mobile phones which we have in our pockets. If we recycle 40 mobile phones, we would get one gram of gold. Improving resource efficiency is a top priority for the European Commission. And using waste as a resource is becoming more and more important, given the ever-increasing global pressure on raw materials. La revalorisation des déchets est certainement pas un choix, mais devient pratiquement une nécessité. Il est clair que quand on voit l'évolution de la diminution des ressources et tout, toute la dépendance qui, qui s'ensuit, il faut absolument recycler et récupérer le maximum de ce qu'on peut euh, d'un déchet. We still have some way to go before Europe becomes a true recycling society. To achieve this goal, the EU has passed a range of legislation on waste, with ambitious recycling targets covering different waste streams, for example in the automotive sector, a major consumer of raw materials, where end-of-life vehicles represent a waste issue. Mihai and Raluca live in Bucharest. They use this car to travel around the Romanian capital, and it's over 15 years old. It's very hard to get very scump, to get it. Consume very much, pollues very much, and, at the same time, has done the job. With this machine, I'm going to go to the center of the collection. Romania now has over 200 processing and recycling centers like this one. 
Mihai's car will be put through the same process as the other 50,000 Romanian vehicles that end up there every year. The cars are first cleared and taken apart. Their oils and other liquids are drained. The windows and wheels are removed. The vehicle shells are then placed onto trucks and transported to another site. They are then divided up into small pieces. The ferrous and non-ferrous metals are then separated. This whole process has one core objective, maximum reuse of all these resources. Noi uh, sortăm și valorificăm în România, astfel avem desfacere atât pentru sticlă, pentru hârtie, pentru plastic, pentru cauciuc, pentru fier, pentru feroase și neferoase, pentru uleiuri și pentru antigel. The metals are either reused as spare parts or recycled. Meanwhile, tires and engine fluids are now frequently used for fuel, primarily for the cement industry. In Romania today, over 85% of the materials found in a car are reused in one way or another. These waste materials are an important resource for the country, and there's potential given the state of most cars in Romania. In Romania, după cum se știe, sunt peste 1.800.000 mașini vechi, mai vechi de, de 10 ani. Deci acest program este foarte, foarte necesar pentru România. To encourage motorists to recycle their old vehicles, the government pays incentives of around 1000 euros. This is used to buy a new car that meets current fuel consumption and CO2 emission standards. New cars are also better designed for recycling. We are at the research center of Dacia Renault, the market leader in Romania. Like other car manufacturers, for several years the company has had to implement an ambitious policy to meet European laws that require integrating the recycling dimension when designing a car. We try as much as possible to respect the European directives, more or less the new European European that will be applied in 2015 with a percentage of 85% din materialele utilizate pe în mașină să fie reciclabile și 95% să fie reutilizabile sau valorizante. Dacia researchers are also trying to include recycled materials in their new cars. Their latest models contain around 15% recycled plastic. For now, this is only used to manufacture parts such as mud guards and shock absorbers. Și se lucrează în aceste laboratoare la găsirea de soluții și de integrare a materialului plastic reciclat și pe piesele vizibile, cum este aceasta. Desigur, pe lângă interesul legat de respectarea mediului înconjurător, există și un interes economic. Europe is facing a major challenge. It is vital that we reduce our waste production. But we must also see waste materials as important resources and improve how we manage and use them. Protecting our environment and the long-term sustainability of our economic growth are at stake.